street artist, but he does it at home. Yes. He's a work from home street artist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Covid uh, took a toll on all of our uh, <laughs> professions. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. So, That's roll good. E100, uh, Google Maps. I got it up as well. I finally have two screens that oh, I can use. Oh, well done. My fucking DWP machine isn't hooked up to it all the time. Yeah, because you got away from that shitty job. How is your Free mental health? Is it, is it a lot better? Well, not yet, but I hope it's it's going to get there. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. All right, I have my dice rolling tray. I have my dice. This is my D100. And this is my sheep. D10. Is this a D10? No, it's a D12. <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, the D10 is the ass to ass D4. Yes. Ass to ass? Ass to ass. Forever. Yeah. Back and forth. Because this is a D4. Yeah. Little triangle. And this is a D10. Double triangle. Ah, I get it now. I thought you were going to bring out your double-sided dildo or something. I don't know. No, nice. uh, it's not Saturday yet. <laughs> There's a special day for that. Yes. You done? <laughs> you take it up. Every you... day. Every day. Every day? Oh, you dirty slut. <laughs> okay. New York City. New York. New York, concrete what, jungle, New York. red dream tomato. <laughs> what? No. Did you say dream tomato? I said concrete jungle, wet dream tomato. Yeah, that's like um, dream tomato. apple sup. Yeah. Ah. No, not apple sup, yeah. Yeah. But, um. But, um. Where recap. Who <clears throat> is gonna go for the recap? Not away, all Luke. at once. Lucas Rosen. In his mind. I'm yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're all looking at me, so I'm refusing to look at the camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, I can't remember where we started. Oh yes, it was uh, it was lovely me and Oscar in a room and we have been butted in by uh, two random people. Uh, one was called Javier and one of them was called uh, I can't remember Kane. Yes, my last character. <laughs> and we may have shot them <laughs> while we was investigating uh, some lovely uh, boys' room. I can't remember. Oh yeah, we went to a warehouse where we picked up some letters. Telling us uh, to get the fuck to Columbia University and start investigating, where we got some lovely FBI badges. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Which uh, seem to get us in anywhere. It's better than our NYPD badges. So we headed to Columbia University. We went to John Jay Hall. Mm hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Did some shooting. Uh, did some investigating. Uh, spoke to a few people. And uh, now on our itinerary is to look at the book under the bed that uh, was grabbing our attention as we was leaving the room. Yeah, indeed. And then, then diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, in another universe, uh, we have uh, a lovely coffee shop where Raven and Judd were... No, no, they were in an internet cafe at this point. Wasn't they? Where they were searching through and they found a... Uh, was it them that found the longitude and latitude, or was it me and Oscar that found You it? and Oscar, yeah. We found the latitude that was to our precinct, which was... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Spooky. And in the coffee shop, I can't remember... No, not the coffee shop, it's the internet cafe. Uh, what was you finding out on the... Maybe I can't quite remember. Um, well, we found that the person that read 
the message that uh, is it Michael Anthony, Way? Michael yeah, and Michael Anthony Way. Was, yeah, the message that he posted was read by one person that's close to this place. The other one was in Germany, but we're we're trying to visit a person that's close by. Her name was Tia, and she lives on West 35th Street. And we went to Flo's Beauty Salon number one to see if she maybe worked there. But then we didn't. We found out that she worked at Vegan Hood, where I got a sandwich beforehand. And then at the end of the episode, it was like a flashback to me looking at her apron and seeing her name and not realizing that at the same time. Yep. Indeed. All right. Was there anything else you were thinking? Mm, no. Yeah, um, there was the, There was something. What was there? There was the <clears throat> that uh, Molly Smith and Anthony Desjardins were a couple, and they were friends with Michael, and they set him up on a date with. Tia, and since then they'd not heard from him. Indeed. And they were, I think they, they sounded like they were trying to get him into a threesome or something. The way that Molly spoke about him. <laughs> it's college. And now it's college. Was Molly's Anthony's girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I've spoke to Molly then. Eh? Molly. Yeah. I spoke to Molly. Indeed. I spoke to Molly. She doesn't know that. Molly, 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 Molly. Oh, Molly, Molly, Molly. I'm going to call her Molly from now on. <laughs> she doesn't know that uh, Michael's committed a load of murders, even though it's all over the news. So. Yeah, that's weird. Well, How I might have to know? break that news. <laughs> well, do I break it to her, or do I just... <laughs> there was an orange book that you found at the end that w w looked like it was interesting. Interesting. And I have been spacing out last session. Like yes. you guys are telling me new shit. Yep. I know. I saw your face and it was blank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I zone out. No, Sal, sometimes you zone in. Zoning out is your default state. <laughs> that is kind of true. <laughs> I, that sounds very relatable. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you zone in and you don't like what you see. Mm. So, before we start, who failed a role last session? Oh, good question. Uh, I failed one. All right. I, uh, it, I, I simply add one to the number, right? Yeah, I've been reading the errata on the um, Shane Ivy Patreon, one of the um, founders and writers of Delta Green. Cool. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a D4. Oh, that's what uh, you do not say. Yeah. Your room was bright all along. Um, Sorry, can you repeat that? So what does that mean? It's a D4 of what? Well, if you fail a roll, you roll a mm -hmm. D4 at the start of each session ah. to add the number you rolled to your skill. Cool. I, I think just... I rolled, I failed a search roll. Yes. And Jeroen and uh, Luke both failed their alertness. Did I? Yeah. Did I fail an alertness as well? Hello, God. Hi, hey, God. Hello. Um, don't remember. I, yeah. But probably... No, 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 you didn't. But uh, Sally, um, he did fail uh, an alertness role in the yeah. um, beauty salon. Yes, that was it. Yeah. I have a failed science role uh, written down. I don't have an alertness tick, though. Uh, yeah, you both failed it. I still have the pretty dice you gave me, Sebas. Ooh, so oh. pretty. Sexy. Pretty. 
I love the folding. Color really doesn't work on camera though. No, but they are. I remember they are pretty, pretty nifty. Yeah. It looks brown. Well, it's blue it's and and orange. Yeah. But like a copper color. Look at this floppy doggy. Oh. Uh, but I just realized it's a lot more fun to roll with actual D. That's that's mm. why I um, roll the dice here. It's so much better. So you want me to roll D four on the? Yeah, a D four. Do we have to tell oh. you what we rolled or no? Uh, well, you, yeah. I rolled a four. Me so add, add four to the skill uh, that you failed. I, know. I rolled a one. <laughs> yeah. Cell. Um, so, <laughs> yeah? I sent you a message on Discord about your bonds. Because Judd doesn't have any bonds filled in. I do. Really now? Yeah. Can you send me an updated version of your character sheet? Uh, do you want a photo? With yeah. my phone or? Uh, on Discord, it's easiest for me. So if you just like do the snip, the snipping to and just send it to me on Discord. No, but like it's paper. But y you heard what I asked, right? Just use the <laughs> snipping to. <laughs> 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 just cut it up and send it to him. Yeah. So use FedEx. I'll send you a photo. Yeah, fa Take thank you. Take a picture. Yeah. Load a picture to your PC, <laughs> snip it. <laughs> But I imagine you you prefer to have it on Discord. That's what you're trying to say. I right? would like to have it on Discord, but if that's not possible, then uh, well, WhatsApp is... Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, Jeroen and Luke, I would like you to change one of your bonds to each other. Oh. <laughs> Partners for life. Bad boys for life. And what PD? Uh, I think I already did. Good. I, I, I had I had a partner in the NYPD written down, so I just yeah, I'm actually thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's uh, excellent. Um, well, for a quick beginning of this session, I want to look at Judd and Raven, who are standing inside the beauty salon. It's busy, it's buzzing. There are a lot of people there. But there's also a TV blasting the news. And what you see is prominently on one of the news cycle that just keeps on repeating, keeps on repeating. It's a shot of John J. Hall. And you hear, droning from the hubbub, the unmistakable voice of your good friend. <laughs> Enrico Zave. Enrico Zave. <laughs> and basically what you hear is him telling that two of the culprits have turned out dead at John J. Hall. And you see... The artist sketches, unmistakable that they are your former Delta Green squad mates. Agent Kane and the artist formerly known as Javier. Both of you roll me a lock roll. Uh, Sixty-four. What is this actually? Yes. Uh, Seventeen. So one fail, one success, no criticals. Like, uh, is it for luck rolls? Like lower is also better. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's always under the target number, and luck is uh, 50. Um, it's very fast, Raven. You see your picture, like, 
flashing on the screen, but then it turns to one of the um, well studio reporters asking questions on uh, to uh, Enrico Save. Judd, you are nowhere to be found in this new cycle. There's Excellent. nobody that sees you or sees Raven as one of the culprits in this rendition of the news. Both of you give me a sanity roll. Uh, that's D100 as well, right? Yeah, everything is a D100. 44 under 75. All right. Uh, what, what was the roll exactly? Sanity. Uh, 31 under 64. All right. Damn, awesome rolls. Both of you add each other's names to your bombs list. Oh man, that was fitting for last session. Indeed. And also roll a d4. Two. Three. Two and three. You deduce a bond of your choice, not each other. You reduce that number with the number you rolled. Uh, and does it matter in like a roleplay context or just any? Any bond you choose. And bonds are always 11, right? Well, or no. you two add each other as a bond, half your charisma skill. Half my charisma. Half your charisma. It's going to say your bonds start at your charisma level and then they slowly deplete. If you don't yeah. Know. Yeah, so but um, uh, agents in your team, if you form a bond with them, you add them at half your charisma level as a start. Okay. Okay. So, is that five or six? Because mine is eleven. Mm, roll a d hundred. Let's see if you're lucky. Forty-six. So yes. No. Yeah, so you add it as a six. What's your charisma, Judd? Uh, twelve. Six as well. So that is our housekeeping. Hey. Which means that we start this session, actual playing session, with two rather strange people. Oscar, you're here as well as Jack. Was it Jack? This was Jack, right? Jack Bowman. Jack Bowman. <laughs> Mike Lowry. <laughs> Mike Lowry. <laughs> now say it sexy. Mike Lowry. <laughs> Mike Lowry. <laughs> Oscar, Jack, you are standing in the room and... All of a sudden, you see from the corner of your eye, under the bed, a orange binder. You know that this is a crime scene and any shred of evidence might be instrumental to your investigation. What do you do? Thank you, Sal. Yeah. It was a bit of work. I had to... I had to log in on Discord on my phone. Which, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look over at Oscar and just uh, give him the nod. Great work, detective. So we both look at the uh, binder and I'm going to start hold it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, let's have a look. You open it and you see that this 
is a binder filled with a photocopied book. And it's a heavily annotated photocopied English translation of Libri Pluris Admirato, or oh, The Book of Many Wonders. Hell yeah! Oh, sorry. Written by Faustius Clauden. Faustius Clauden? Yes. As you flip through it, you can tell that there are little calculations in the margins of the book. Who's flipping through this book? I'm going to hold the folder up to Oscar's face. <laughs> you fucking read it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just going to say I'm holding it, but me and Oscar stood next to each other and we're both looking through it, do you want to say? <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, I'm, le I'm leaning over Jack's shoulder like, what's, what's that? I mean, are we still going to call each other detective now we've got these new badges, <laughs> or are we going to... Agent Donovan, how you doing? <laughs> I quite like it. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a read, shall we? These numbers in the side. Uh, do you know anything about this? Oh, math geeks. Eh? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Both of Five, you six. roll me a mm, intelligence check. Wow, God's dice really made a sound. Ba boom! <laughs> there went Guatemala. Seven over seventy under over fifty. Seventy over fifty. All right. Um, mine's ninety six over. We are sixty, so fail. All right. You're both checking mm. these scribbles in the margin. And, like They get more frantic the further you get inside this book, or through this book even. Um, both of you roll me a luck roll. Maybe 12 under 50. Ten. Excellent. We may not be intelligent, but we're very lucky. Uh, That's all that matters. Lucky. Yes. <laughs> As you're both checking these annotations in the margins of this book, a few numbers stand out to you. As you're looking over Jack's shoulder, Oscar, you glimpse on the wall a clock which reads 4.20 wop, 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 p.m. <laughs> and almost at the exact moment you see this clock, you look at the page and you see the number 420. You keep on reading. And you suddenly see your NYPD badge number written in the margin. Jack, you also see your social security number written in the margin. And at the end of the page, there is a message saying, Hello, you two. Both of you roll me a sanity check. Uh, is this a helplessness check? Nope. 
I don't get to adapt to this shit. 95. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, you take one sanity damage. Jack, roll me a d4. The amount of sanity damage this session already. Four. <laughs> you take four sanity damage. Come on, Luke. As you're trying on, to you? grasp the fact that you saw numbers relating to you in your personal life. Uh, the exact time that you're reading this and there was a message saying hello officers or hello you too in the margin this shit is effed the fuck up let's go Oscar um the longitude and latitude of our precinct. Two guys running in and trying to shoot us. Seeing your badge number, my social security number, I don't like this one fucking bit. And now this message saying, hello you two? Like, I don't believe in all this shit, but what it's, the fuck? It's just, it's just fucking numbers, man. You know, you know the thing about, like, give, give a thousand monkeys some typewriters <laughs> and eventually they'll write Shakespeare? Okay. Eventually, you'll find your social security number. It's the same fucking shit. Nice. It's been one of those mornings, Oscar. I've just got to say, it's glad I've got you around just to keep me on the level. But I don't like this one bit. This is. Let's. You think we should go and speak to these math geeks down the road? Uh, I think we should take this in. Yeah. Do you uh, feel like back to the precinct? Yeah. To... Do we do we tell them about the FBI badges, or are we keeping that to ourselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we should tell them about the FBI badges. I don't think that will go down well. So, uh, people of interest, we have. Uh, do we not? We, do we know about Tia? Yeah, we do, don't we? So, people of interest so far. Mm -hmm. We have Tyr. We have this uh, Anthony fellow that's to do with uh, that Molly outside. They don't know they're with Michael's friends. But we should keep them under investigation. Uh, do you think we should take them in with us? Or... Mm -hmm. Wait till later. No, I think we should, we should definitely have a chat with this Tia, because she might as well be the last person to see to have seen uh, Michael before. Yeah. Right, let's go and chat to Molly outside and see if she knows the whereabouts of Tia. Just walking out of a yeah. crime scene, walk back into the hallway because I did tell Molly to stay by. Um, oh, maybe she quick, is. Quick question, like out of character. Do we have um, a handler and a way of contacting them? Like, would that have been in the folder that we got? Uh, yeah. There is indeed a manila folder um, dictating some forms of... Uh, contact that you can do have mm -hmm. okay, okay then just as you you're about to open the door then i'm going to slow you shut uh should we call the guy maybe <laughs> not about this book you think yeah tell him what we found tell him that it uh, could be related to us well, we could, yeah, we could give him, give him, could give him an update on everything we found, I suppose. Well, he sent us here. You've got a, uh, you've got a cell phone, or uh, was there uh, any yeah. in the envelope? <laughs> <laughs> I have this time. I've got a phone. That's a pregnant <laughs> subject for Luke. Quick, quick, yep. Right, and I'm gonna start calling it up while we're still in the room because we're alone in the room. I take it forensics haven't turned up yet. 
or have they? Uh, well, they were there and 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 left basically already. Uh, the coroner has taken the bodies away, and uh, basically you, uh, seeing as you're FBI, sort of kind of asserted your dominance and had them leave the premises. Do your phones have speakerphone in two days? They probably did. Yeah, I'm gonna dial the number, put it on the side and put it on speakerphone. And sit down in the chair that uh, Javier was hiding behind that's covered in blood. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dial. Ringy ring. Ring ring. Brr, brr. Brr, brr. Brr, brr. Brr, brr. Brr, brr. Hey, what's up? Um, who's this? Uh, it, this is Jack Bowman. <laughs> Oh, hey, um, yeah, so, uh, what did you find? Well, we found, uh, I think the first most important thing is we found a bunch of papers on Michael's desk, which had the coordinates of our police precinct. Mm -hmm. We found that he has or was supposed to go on a date with a Tia Markel, who is also a math geek. Um, basically, the day of, of the murders, mm -hmm. we also mm -hmm. found a book called the Libri Pluris Admirato. Uh, Excuse me, run, 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 run that by me again. Uh, the book is called Lib Libri Pluris Admirato. It's an English copy. Um, the English translation is the Book of Many Wonders. Or All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you hear like typing, yeah. typing, 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 typing. And he gets, um, a Book of Many Wonders, destroy it. Destro by any means, destroy it. Did anyone of you read it? Uh, we had a quick, uh, uh, we flipped to a couple pages, yeah. Why? No, but this is a photocopy, so we're not sure if it's the actual book. Book, yeah, book. it is. It's a photocopy. Yep. Uh, who am I speaking to at this moment? This is Oscar. Oscar, could you uh, take me off of... Um, the um speaker oh, speak real quick him. real quick please sure yeah yeah come on. yeah you're off right thank you everybody remove your headsets <laughs> <laughs> wow um oscar this is um this is the most important um did your partner read it uh, same as me, we had a we, we flipped through a couple of pages, just a glance at it. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple of control questions here. Two plus two. Four. Nine plus nine. Eighteen. Nine to nine plus twenty. One hundred nineteen. All right, one hundred nineteen plus twenty two. One hundred forty-one. All right. Do these numbers make any sense to you? I mean, it's just math. Indeed, it's just math. I need you to keep an eye on Agent Bauman there, Officer Bauman. Uh, I want you to um, ask these same questions uh, at a later date. If he uh, reacts strangely, um, 
but he's been compromised and he has become a vector. And you know what to do with vectors. Roger. Um, yep, copy. Do, right. you want me, do you want to repeat the questions so I can write them down? First All is right. 2 plus 2. All right, nine plus, 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9? Yep, nine, uh, 18 plus 20. 18 plus 20. All right. You could also do 99 plus 20. It's uh, up to you what you want. And both of these outcomes uh, plus 22. Both of these outcomes plus 22. Yep. If he yep. reacts strangely to any one of these, um, he has been compromised. Right. All right. Put your... Um, phone back on speaker if you're ready yep yeah, i'll put them on yeah. speaker can we put them back on yes yep and we're back and are we're we, we back okay? and it, it next so cute watching luke play with yes, yes. <laughs> it was it really was uh, next time like this is going to be a recurring theme Sure. on delta I green because it. i like you to have secrets for each other next time i want you to have your um headphones back i will just do something like this or this or like any hand gestures uh, prominently featured in the camera your dog looks so confused there <laughs> <laughs> what also <laughs> Yes. Uh, Samos, yeah. maybe a good option is to just have everyone deafen because you can actually see that every confirm that everyone is deafened. How do I deafen everybody? Uh, can't we just deafen ourselves? Yeah, yeah, you can. How? If oh. you right click on your own picture and then click deafen. Oh dear lord! You are muted and you cannot hear what everyone else is saying. And um, like, it shows a little icon, so it like confirms for everyone that you cannot hear it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. In Dutch, it's onhoorbaar maken. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you have That's a Dutch system Dutch. language? <laughs> no, my system language is English, but my Discord is Dutch for some reason. Oh, that's funny. Uh, it's less funny than you would think. It's annoying. It's fuck. On horbar. On horbar, Macon. On horbar, Macon. Hi. That's just such a lame language when it's directly Fucking translated. Hell, man. <laughs> On horbar, Macon. 1945. The Duitsers vallen Polen seen... binnen. Yeah. On horbar, Macon. I had the same thing with Facebook when they did Vind ik leuk for the word like. Yes. <laughs> Why? Why? Is it the same thing in, in uh, Belgium? Um, vind ik leuk? Vind ik leuk. Vind ik leuk. Ik vind het zo leuk. It's just we're talking about the stupidness of Dutch of the Dutch language in I'm English. Say, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> confused? No, you won't be after this week's episode of Soap. So, uh, Jack Oscar. We're back on speaker. You're back on speaker. So, uh, yeah, um, destroy the book and um, uh, bring me back um, everything you found. Um, just so you know, there's another team out there, uh, compromised, uh, more or less. Um, I will try to get them back uh, as soon as possible. But um, I have no re way of reaching them right now, and I don't know where they are. So, um, yeah. Um, uh could they be described as uh, one of them bald man wear sunglasses all over the news at the moment yeah that's them um yeah, it's they're uh they're kia all right how many bodies two 
So there's two still uh, still out there. Uh, a woman and a uh, ex-army man. Um, Is there any way of contacting these people? I will um, email you their pictures on our secure email. Um, uh, approach with caution. Uh, they don't know who you are. They don't know you're in the program. So uh, it might be uh, it might be dangerous. Um, what do we call you, sir? Just call me Stapler. Rad Stapler. <laughs> <laughs> NYPD, FBI, CIA. Yeah, just call me Stapler. Um, like, I, um, yeah. So, uh, what does he Destroy find out? Book. Destroy the book. Uh, that's a given. Uh, like, actually destroy it. Burn it. Blow it up. Whatever you do. Uh, don't let it fall into anybody's hands. It's, uh, it's a vector. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, check out if there's any vectors there. Uh, do you think anybody else read the book? It's unknown at this time, sir. All right. Check it out. And, uh, yeah, um, at six, I'm having dinner, uh, with my family. So, uh, six 30, I'm, uh, I'm uh, available for calls again. Call you at six 20. Oh, then. Okay. Then. All right. Thanks. One more question before you go, Stapler. Where do we drop off the, uh, the other evidence? The what now? The other evidence, the papers, the nails. You said to drop it off? Uh, yeah. Um, do you know... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, give me a second. Uh, yeah, take your time. And he takes his... Uh, he's like typing, typing, typing. Uh, yeah. Um... Where are you now? We're in uh, John J. Hall at Columbia University. Right, 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 right. Um, give me a second, give me a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know what, what you do is at the intersection of West uh, 118th and more, oh, what's this called? Jesus Christ, New York City is so, and Morningside Drive uh, near the park. Uh, if you enter the park, there is a little landing there it has a bench uh, with a waste paper basket next to it drop it in there somebody will be there to pick it up in uh, 10 seconds copy All right thank you two 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 he hung up i'm going to pick up my phone hey bye love you too love you too I love you. Bye bye. He calls back. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I love you, and you're appreciated. Uh, I tolerate you. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. So, Oscar, have a lovely conversation in secret, did we? <laughs> we'll talk about this later. But, but first. Yeah, we will. Yeah. So, how do we destroy mm. this thing without raising suspicion? Because all the uh, news crews are outside after all the shooting. Um, no oh, question. Um, well, 
well, we could go with the original plan, wasn't it? And just uh, <laughs> set off the sprinkler and just put it up next to the sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm sure that there's a kitchen here. I'm sure we could just dunk it, like fill a, uh, a kitchen sink and dunk it in there. Do American but, dorm uh, rooms have like a little kitchenette area or anything? Could have a sink or now because it would all, oh, would that? Is there, is the handle, is there a sink? Uh, well, if I check the John J. Hall dorm rooms, they do not have a sink. Uh, it's just a long, drawn-out room. Uh, it's either a double or a single. And there is no kitchenette. Do they have a toilet no, they have a or shared shower? Kitchen. Yeah, they have shared kitchen space and shared bathrooms and showers. Yep. Because that's where the magic happens, baby. In the shared kitchen. Well, keep it close to you. We'll start gathering up all the other papers. Start gathering. Right. So. All right. Okay, so I've got all the papers. And put them into... Don't know what. what. Would an agent be having a? Would it have a satchel? No, it wouldn't. Nah, no. But both of you, give me as you're grabbing these papers. A luck roll. Eighty-three. All right, that's one fail. I have to stop rolling, Luke. You doing? Oh, you me too. Yes. Seventy-six. Seventy-six and eighty-three. Both of you fail. As you're checking these numbers, you see that. These numbers again correlate with your the map coordinates of your precinct. But again, you see the same numbers, your badge number, and Oscar, uh, uh, sorry, Jack, your social security number. Below it is another number it's 229-989 both of you know that this is a security number a registration number of a weapon you don't know which weapon but as FBI agents you can sure as hell find out if you want to both take two points of sanity loss oh. by the end of this <laughs> end of this turn you're both going to be absolutely insane that's the plan did anybody of you take more than five sanity loss so far yes me six really yeah <laughs> bye guys um everybody take off their headphones except luke i'll, I'll deafen again thank you All right. Deafen yourself, God. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do 
look is I want you to roll you don't you have to deafen Jeroen, did you deafen? He deafened. Yes. The narrow reading our lips. No, he's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes, maybe. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Hey, could, could be. Could be. It, could it's be. It's the Linux thing. Pseudo up deafen. All right. So, what I want to do yeah. is take the manias of, of Pop Cthulhu. Oh. Um, and work them into Delta Green. Work them into Delta Green because they have such fun manias. Uh, insane effects. All right, roll me. A D20. A D20. Ten. Ten. All right. Ah, no, sorry. This is not the right one. Ah, I should have gathered it up earlier. Ah. Yeah, we got time. Yeah, uh, what was your day? Oh, it was fine. Yeah. Cleaned a load of meat out today. It was uh, rank. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. How was your day? Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, it was just a bit hectic. Had uh, a few weird things, but on the whole, wasn't bad. Uh, and now damage. pause for dramatic effect. Indeed, pause for it. I have the <laughs> book of <laughs> Pokefulu here. Uh, I think Pokefulu. Yeah. Hi, Faye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heracretion. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Uh, I will look it up uh, later, and uh, I'm going insane. You're you're having you're gonna have a mania, but <laughs> we'll find it out later. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. The, the deafened didn't work for me for, for whatever reason. I could still hear you. Oh, because really? Linux. Yep. <laughs> Linux. It's always Linux for you. All right. So what are you guys doing? I'll tell you what we're doing. We're moving to Judd and Raven. <laughs> 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 And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Yay. Yay. Oh, I don't have Cyrus Gig on actually. <gasps> oh really? Touch. I was completely theater of the minding this by myself. Thank you. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Judd, Raven, yes. you're standing in a beauty salon and you know where Tia might be. Let's have a small break. Uh. <laughs> the master of cliffhangers. The suspense mm -hmm. is killing me. That sounded a little bit Scottish, even. <laughs> the suspense has calling me. Well, the she's she's way up north, so. I'm up up north, north, yeah. 
just barking into nowhere. Think that there's ghosts. Please stop doing that. I'm already freaked out. Oh. She keeps muting me because her butt is on the uh, space bar. <laughs> with your fat butt. Oh, with your fat butt. Yeah. Mm. I gave you a bath today because you smelled like poop. She rolled him some dog shit. Ew. Mwah. But now you smell of roses. You don't. You smell of dog. But you don't smell of poop. The wrong side of dog. Judd, Raven, yes. mm -hmm. you're standing inside a beauty salon. You just seen a news bulletin that said that your partners in crime are dead. You did not notice before how do you react? Um, how long have we known each other? We've met at this mission, right? Yeah. But as I recall, you've grown very fond of each other. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I wanna... I'm gonna step outside. I'm gonna thank the, the woman who told us about Tia working in veganhood and I'm gonna stand outside. No problem, sugar. And um Just follows. And I'm gonna give Judd a hug trying not to cry because I've only ever lost one person in my life before my mom and I'm still not over that, so losing other people isn't fun. Uh, Judd doesn't know how to hug, so he gives you, like, the, the there, there tap on your back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Judd's military, it, it will... Like, he, it doesn't, he doesn't go unfazed, but... He has been here before. It's part of the job in a way. Yeah. And I'm thinking, how the fuck did I go from doing a PhD in biology, like natural sciences, to this? Um, Judd grabs you by the shoulders and he says, um, Raven, whatever happens, you have to remember it's work and we have to do it thanks it's just work we clock in we clock out whatever happens in between it's work what do we do with Tia because I'm pretty sure I saw her when I bought my sandwich Well, I'd rather go in there and get rid of whatever we need to get rid of with her there instead of getting the cops called on us or something. Do we... 
So do we want to wait until she's off work, or do we want to go in? Do we want to go into her apartment while she's at work, or wait until she's off work and ask her to let us in? Wait. Do you still have that receipt from the bagel? I don't know. I, I, I'll have to... I guess that's a luck roll. <laughs> uh, yeah. The receipt. Yeah. 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 Good guess in A. Indeed a Rooney. 50. <laughs> what does that mean? That's good. I think. 50 is a success. Okay. So you still have the receipt? I have the receipt. Maybe we should call the place to see when she's done working. I don't have a... Did I have a phone? Did you buy me a phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you one. Okay. And I think we should be very careful in how we word this. Um, maybe we should put it in a way of... We're investigating the Michael Way situation, and we would like to get some information from her about how she days. Or do we do we want to do that over the phone, or do we just want to ask her what time they're open till? Well, we could do that, at least. Yeah. It, it was like five o'clock now, right? Yeah, basically, it's five o'clock. I had a sandwich at four p.m. Yeah, just, let, well, maybe at first just call them until what time they're up. Yeah. Okay, let me give them a phone call. Let me give them a call. And I put in the number of the place that's on the receipt in on my burner phone. All right. You hear the phone ring and you hear Joe's Pizzeria and Barbecues. How can I help you? Wait, I thought I was calling Vegan Hood? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, they didn't update their number. No, uh, the last two digits of the number you have to switch around. They did a whole thing. Okay, so instead of two three, it's three two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thanks. No problem. Have fun. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> so I guess I re-enter the number, and the last two digits are three two instead of two three. You hear it? Brip brip Vegan delicacies, how can I help you? Hi, um, I was just wondering, what time are you open till today? Uh, we're open like every day, uh, Monday to Friday till 10, Saturday, Sunday till 8. 10 p.m. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry ma'am, I, I should have been clear, 10 p.m. Okay, great, thank you. No problem, bye. 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 Okay, so the place is open till 10 p.m. every day, apart from Saturday and Sunday. What day is it today? What's the day today? It is a Thursday. <laughs> okay. Roll <a> D7. <laughs> <laughs> so they're open till 10, but I have no idea if she works till 10. It looks like a very small place, so it could be that she's the only one working, but we don't know. I don't... See, I want to know what happened, but I don't want to... I don't know. Feels unfair to let a shop close early. Because we need information. And also, it me Sorry, it means that we might be able to sneak into her apartment and see if there's anything there. Without her letting us in, I guess. I mean, we don't have any other leads that are under time pressure. We can wait, really.
So we have five hours. What do we do in those five hours? Well, wait, I guess. Oh, is that what you want to do? You want to wait? Unless Raven thinks otherwise. Maybe we should make a phone call to as um, what were what were her names? Samson Woods and my name was Mia McBride to say that we wanna. That <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> As as me and Bride to say if we wanna um, to say that we would like to speak to her um, urgently because we have a um, a situation with Michael McWay or Michael Way and we need to uh, she's one of the people that was last seen with him or last was the last contact. Yeah. Because in that case, we could maybe do it earlier. I don't really want to wait around five hours. Well, let's see if she's available. Do you want to? Do you want to make the call this time so it doesn't come from the same number? I don't know if they have recognition. Sure, I'll do it. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm thinking of a, a fake name. Give me a sec. <laughs> you had you had <laughs> Samson Woods. Yes, but I'm not gonna use the name. We got blown our cover over. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but then please do tell me your name because yes. I don't know. So something like Kali Silich or something. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, let me just open like a name random generator. Name generator. Random <laughs> fantasy name generator. <laughs> no, I'm literally <laughs> typing in American name generator. <laughs> what was the one? What was the one where uh, a Japanese game company made a game with football players, and there was one called Sleeve McDyckel? Oh yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's so weird. Sleeve McDyckel. Okay, I'll pick up the phone. What's your name? You'll hear it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I can't wait now. I'll, uh, uh, what, what's her name again? Mia? Mia Tia. McBride. Tia. T yeah, no, right? Like... Her name is Tia, but my name is Mia. Oh. That's so confusing. No, it's okay. not. <laughs> Okay, so say this surname again, Mia McBride, M C B R I D E. Yeah. And I'm with the student well-being. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'll call the number. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. No. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> you called the number. Hey, vegan delicatessen, how can I help you? Uh, good day. This is uh, Bradley Bone speaking from the FBI. That's a cool name, sir, if you don't mind me saying. Well, thank you. Agent uh, Bone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can bone me anytime. Um, but I, I'm calling uh, for uh, with a serious uh, occasion, uh, sadly. Um, is Tia there by any chance uh, uh, speaking well english if no no, no 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 i'm sorry sir I, 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 this is me t on the phone oh oh hello um hi this is I'm, I'm sorry for my for my uh, inappropriate joke we we had a lot of fun at the office today i'm very sorry 
Good, good. Um, again, this is Bradley Bowen from the FBI. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, um, well, uh, I'm sure you've seen the, the news about Michael Way. Am I correct? Um... Yeah, uh, it was really weird. Um, like, I, I, I was supposed to go on a date with him tonight. Is, is this why you're calling? Well, yes. We'd, we'd like for you to come home so we can talk about some specifics. Wait, you're at my we're house? Well, I would like to meet up at your house, if that's possible. How do you know where I live? Again, Mia, you're speaking with the FBI. We're doing an investigation on Michael Way, and you understand that we are pulling out all the strings on this, if you understand. It's a big case, you know? Yeah, um... Excuse me, this is just... Look, I'm, I have to finish my shift. Uh, I can't leave before 10 p.m. It's... I'm the only one here. Um, oh, give me your boss again. I'll I'll speak to them. Like, like I said, I'm I'm the only one here. I I don't know if I can reach my uh, my employer. Um, I can give you his number. Mia, I I hope you understand the seriousness of the situation. The American people need your help now. <laughs> Do it for America. <laughs> um, Roby persuade. Oh, good fucking luck on that one. Is there is there a modifier on this? No, sir. No, 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 no. You're uh, calling for and... the American people. It doesn't work. <laughs> no. Uh, sixty-eight over thirty-one. I'll make a check mark on that one. Yes, uh, sir. You could be anyone. Um, if you really want to talk to me, you come to my work, and 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 we'll we'll figure it out. But I cannot leave here right now. I'm the only one here. Um, and I'll uh, please, if you really want to talk, you have to come here. Right. I I have a customer. I have to hang up now. Okay. Let's give give me your boss's number quick. Um. It's the same number, but uh, like the two, the last two numbers are reversed. <laughs> Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Uh, and I'll she hangs see up. You soon. She already hung up. Any luck? Well, she sounded a bit uh, faced by the situation, but uh, I think if we. We can either call that boss to uh, arrange something, but that would include yet another person on it all. I'd rather keep it low. We can go there if you want, or we wait. Do you still have the ID? Um, I think we all threw it away. God, I don't know what to do. I mean... She's in until 10 p.m., isn't she? I know what you're thinking. And maybe... Maybe we should do it. I don't like it, but we'll, we should do it. And climb over the fence. Get to the fire escapes. We know it's on the third floor. Is there like a... Is, it, is this a fancy building with like a, a janitor or receptionist at the front desk? Like oh, the no, 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 no. No, like uh, I know you zoned out, but what you can remember is you had to press a bell to get in like it was oh, a yeah. remember 
yeah. Yeah, so there's no reception or anything. It's just uh, uh, a box with a few numbers and a few bells. It used to... I mean, I went back in time, but it used to be a hotel, but there's a... But it's not anymore, and there's a there's a fence in between the two buildings that has been there since forever. So there's basically like a gap in between, and there's a gap between the fence and... Uh, how visible are we, were we to take the fire escape, Dean? Um... The fire escape is behind the building. Yeah. Yeah, but still, like, are we, does it feel visible to onlookers? I mean, there's still windows in New York, you know? <laughs> yeah, but there is a... It, if you look on Google Maps, you can see the building, 205. Yeah. And there's a, there's a gap in between, and there's trees, and there's no windows on the sides of the buildings. At least not in the one... What's the street name again? Uh... 135th oh shit there are windows on the other side but not at the back what? One three, one thirty fifth street 135th street and it's 305 uh, 205 sorry Um, but still, uh, that leaves the, um, the question unanswered. Which is? Yeah. Well, whether we are visible or not. Well, um... It, were we to do that? That depends on a roll. What do we roll? Well, <laughs> you roll it when you get there. Okay. No, 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 but I mean, like, just observing the situation, like, does it feel like you're in full view of anything? Well, you're not in full view, and the fire escape would be at the back of... There's trees. The... If, you look up, if you look above, there's trees. There are indeed. Um, and there is a possibility that you would be spotted. There always is. Um, but maybe you won't. I think simply the front door would be an easier option at that point. I, uh, what would count for um, lock picking again? Dex. Is it simply a dex roll? Uh, yeah. I thought What's lock your... picking was a natural skill. Oh, it's craft. Oh, it's craft? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have that. Me neither. Um. What do you want, Bubs? I, I really hate this. Because last time we got seen, and Judd mm. is very into operational security. <laughs> um, I mean, if you say front door, we could pretend like we're a pizza delivery company and just ring every doorbell. Yeah, but like, how do we get into her front door? That's the usual question many men have asked. Jesus Christ, boss. <laughs> um, how stealthy are you, Raven? Not very. <laughs> Me neither. But my my athletics are pretty good, so I can run, and I can jump. That's why I was thinking fire escape. What do we do? We need to make a decision. Well, while you're making the decision, let's check back in. 
on Oscar and Jack. What are you doing? Uh, we was about to leave the room to uh, interview Molly again. All right. Do it. Well, I'm going to approach Molly again. Don't remember Actually. Molly's voice, but hey. Hey. <laughs> Hiya. So, Agent, my, uh, Agent, oh, I forgot my name. Uh, Wait, you forgot Bo your name? Uh, Bo Jackman, that's the one, yeah. Agent Bo Jackman, we spoke beforehand. You're a friend of Michael's? Uh, yeah. Uh, could we uh, take this somewhere where we could... Uh, Eel, uh, are you trying to get with me? I have a boyfriend. <laughs> no, no, no. We need to speak to him also, but... No, I need to have a quiet word with you about Michael. Um, you seemed quite distressed. You quite, uh, like, forgot the matter all of a sudden. You seemed quite uh, placid all of a sudden. You was quite distressed before when I came out. Okay, just give the handler some, like, slack because he wasn't very sure of the voice and the, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> mental state. But now she's very distressed and, like, what's happening and who are you again and why are you talking to me? Like, you have everything you need. I mean, like, you can talk to me and my boyfriend all the time if you want, but, like, no funny stuff, okay? No, 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 but could we uh, maybe take this somewhere quieter? I might have some serious news about Michael that I need to discuss with you. Like, is, my, is he okay? Like, I, I'm, I'm so confused. Like, why are you here? Well, m myself, uh, Bo Jackman, and uh, Agent uh, Ed, Donovan Ed, Oscar Ed, Edwards. here. Edward Bigsby. Who's Edward, Ed, Edwards, Edwards, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Been, it's been a long day. We, we we were shot at. You know how it is. But uh, Molly, Molly, Molly. Yes. Can, yes. 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 Can, can, can we take this maybe into your dorm room where you can sit down and be relaxed? I don't know how it can be relaxed, but the music. Like, what are you telling me? Like, is Michael in trouble? It's actually more well, serious. Not anymore. He isn't. Yes. <laughs> oh. that, that's, Edward said that this, mm, <laughs> calm yourself down now. <laughs> so indeed, can we? Uh, <laughs> Molly, 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 can we uh, take this uh, into your dorm room, please, Molly, Molly? Yeah, like Molly. um. Like I'm, I'm not very comfortable with like having two men in my dorm room. Um, so like this like, is a professional <laughs> setting, ma'am. We're we're FBI agents. Like again, I'm not very comfortable. We can go to my boyfriend's dorm room. Well, wherever, just I just yeah, don't want just to. Any, any, yeah, anywhere you'd be comfortable. Comfortable. We just don't want to discuss this in the middle of a hallway and next to a crime scene with all everyone watching. I can't believe Mike Waze's room is a crime scene. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Michael's room. No, <laughs> no, Michael Matthew. <laughs> so confused. And she just runs. <laughs> Do you uh, follow? Where is your... Yeah. <laughs> Molly, 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> she doesn't stop. She, like, runs up to uh, a flight of stairs, like, one flight of stairs up, runs to a door about halfway on the hallway on the right hand side where you previously were on the left hand side on the right hand side she just um, sobbing like boop, 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 on the door and um as you follow her i imagine yep uh mm -hmm. a man opens the door <laughs> a man a boy a boyish man, a mannish boy, opens the door. Look. 
Hi, babe. What's up? <laughs> I don't know. These these men are here. And they they have news about my. Oh man, Michael. And he looks around the corner and sees you two. Give him chase. <laughs> oh shit. Um. Uh, sir, this 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 um. The smell, it, it's, it's been here for a while. I don't know what the smell is. It's like coming from another room or something. Son, I'm not here about the smell. Trust me, I the least of my problems at the moment. And to be honest with you, that's more of a... Oh, what's the agency called again? That's a DEA problem. We're the FBI, you know. I, I'm not really too fussed about that. I need to talk to you and Molly, 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 Molly. <laughs> Molly, 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 Molly. And like he, Michael. he tries to block the view of his room a bit. And yeah, I can see the bonk, son. Don't worry. Like, Honestly, no, dude. Like, somebody left it care. here. Somebody left it here. I don't know uh, who was it yeah. is, man. It, yeah, was it Michael? <laughs> um, um, we'll, we'll just we'll just take it. We'll just take it away from you. Yeah. From you. We'll um, take it into the trash. That's just, fine. Just just hand over whatever you've got on you, and we'll forget the whole matter. Um, are you a cop? You sh you have to tell me if you're a cop, right? Oh shit, you're, you're FBI. Uh, FBI. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, um, Calm down, mate. Do you want to hit? Just would, would taking the hit calm you down, son? Just that that's just really we just need to talk. This is all like, I would feel We're better not... if you would take a hit and then I would take a hit. You, Don't I, do it, I'm, no. I'm not going to do that, son. Like, you've just like, asked an FBI agent to take a hit of your bog. But you this asked me to take me to take it. This is a trapment, sir. <laughs> Move past the bonk, son. Move past the bonk. I can't. It's not mine. <laughs> the fucking window. Just, there, it's gone. It's gone. It's out the window. It's gone. Out your way. Now, can we sit down, please? We really need to talk to you about Michael. Time Shit, is up the essence. man. I really love that bong. Uh, even though it wasn't mine, it was like, like it really tied the whole room together, you know. It's not a rug, son. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, okay, uh, maybe come in. Uh, yeah, sure. Comfort your girlfriend here. She's quite distressed at the moment. She's just looking like. She doesn't know what's like. She's so confused, and so is uh, Matthew. He's so confused. <laughs> like, what the hell is going on? And you just usher them in. Do you close the door? Yep, we close the door. Edwards, uh, stand here because they're probably going to want to run after they hear this news. So, uh, Matthew, Molly, would you like to take a seat uh, on your bed? I'll sit on this bed opposite and. Uh, I'm afraid I have some uh, really grave news about your friend, uh, Michael. Like, what is it? Like, he hasn't... What is... What's happened to Michael? Like, he didn't really talk to us for, like, two days. Yeah, man, like, it's, he just... He disappeared off the radar, man. Uh, unfortunately, I'm the bearer of bad news here that Michael has been caught in a crime down in Bridgeway, New Jersey. And unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Like I know he's not here. I mean, more in the spiritual sense, he is. I'm afraid he's deceased, and also the prime suspect in a homicide. Like what? Like Michael? Like, this That's is murder, Sam. Like Michael, he would never do this. Like he was the sweetest boy. <laughs> like Michael, he's like my best friend. Like I cannot imagine him like doing anything like even hurting a fly, man. Certainly, this is why we've been called in to investigate this because Michael was not on anyone's radar. He was not <laughs> seen to be a threat to anybody yet. 
here he is with basically a murder weapon to a homicide of five people. Like what? Five? No, <laughs> you can't make the five people. He would never do that. No, man. Like Michael was the sweetest boy ever. Like he just went from his dorm to the lab. Like he he almost made the uh, Lacrys equation work, man. Like it was so good. Would you say that Michael was uh, socially awkward, or was had any was he a social person? He was very social, like he was, uh, he was always talkative, yeah man, he was always talkative, and like he was very sweet, and we even set him up with one of our friends, oh shit, ma, oh no, Tia, like how is she gonna get the news, she was like really looking forward, oh man, Tia, she was so looking forward to this, like how is she gonna cope, man, oh, how are we gonna cope, man? how are we gonna cope, Cool. It's really hard to do two voices simultaneously. Dude, <laughs> like they're such different energies, but okay. Okay. <laughs> well, would, would 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 you like to have the the number of the trauma psychologists of uh, of the FBI? Like, do you think we need it? Like, I would like it if it's, like, free. But we don't have any money to pay for something. Like, all our money is tied up in we don't have any yeah. money. Yeah. <sighs> Again, we're not here about the drugs. We don't care about the drugs. But if you have some, I'll confiscate them now if it'd make you feel better. Like, we don't have any drugs. Like, no way. <laughs> Well, that's a shame. Uh, oh, uh, back to back. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like the coolest FBI agents I've ever seen. <laughs> what, do you get many FBI agents coming around here? Or you, you Normally people don't expect us to be the ones knocking. Well, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's uh, a good uh, joke, uh, Matthew. Now yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, back to Michael, the, your recently deceased friend. Oh, wait, he's dead? Yes. Wow, man, that's such a bummer. How did he die? You'd rather not know those details at this time, trust me. Is he okay? Like, I'm afraid not. No, he's he's not. Let's just a... say the only reason we could ID him was from his uh, ID card in his pocket, not from his body. Like, did he have a mask on or anything? Or let's One not get say... worked down into the details. Let's it's... not lose our heads over this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he oh. was, like, so close to, like, he is such a sweet guy, like, I cannot believe, like, he, and there's no way he did, like, five murders. I'm afraid if you watch the news, you'll find out. <laughs> oh, no, man. The news are, like, uh, brainwashing. We never watch the news. Evidently be, but uh, I'm afraid it's true. Whatever, so, man. Uh, we just need to know the last movements. Oh. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? God just got rid of Cuba. <laughs> 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 Missile Crisis 2.0. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, Molly, 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 Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Uh... Why do you keep saying our names like that, man? It's really weird. Yeah, it's really weird, man. Like, I, once is enough, right? You know? Uh, it's, um... Uh, one of those days. Uh, so... Molly, 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 Matthew. <laughs> uh... What, what we... What, what we're... Uh, 
what we're after is your your friend uh, Mia. You um, Tia. Okay. Like, do you mean Tia? Like, yeah. get your facts straight, man. You're the FBI. Like, what? Just testing you. You know. Uh, you yeah. better not be talking back to the FBI. Uh. Okay. Remember. In any case, we just want we just want to know how to contact her or where to find her. Uh. Because we want to have a chat with her. Like just a chat. Yeah, just look, listen, if you're saying that Michael is predisposed not to do this sort of thing, then it something's made him snap, something's made him change. And the last person that, uh, according to his emails, he was talking to was this tear. Like, no way, man. They never met each other, never talked. It's like a blind date sort of thing. Yeah, man, like, man, it was just like a blind date, you know, like excitement and uh, all that. Did his email say he did, or did he spoke to Tia, or...? Yeah, he did. Wait, what now? No, we, we, we just want to... He had an email conversation going back and forth with her, I think? Or was that with... Or was that just... Wait, was that name just mentioned? Uh, let me... Basically... Her name was on the list. Yeah, her list name was on the... the same... Like, they were on Math Geeks at List Beam or something? Yeah, like it was just a mailing list. Alright, yeah. Well, so, still would like to talk to her. We need to put down all of Michael's last movements before he headed over to Ridgeway, so she's a person of interest at this moment. Tia's like the sweetest girl, that's why we set her up with like Michael, he was the sweetest guy, you know? Like double sweet. Exactly, this is all we're hearing about this Michael be sitting at a crime scene at the foot of five bodies kind of contradicts what everyone is telling us about Michael so we need to know what would have made him snap was Michael acting any different over the last few days you say that he kind of lost contact with you over the last two days did he seem distant at all before that no, like he he tried to get some of these. Um, what were they called again? Like basically, all he talked about was like math and like Marsinio primes and stuff. And like he made a program on his computer that like could detect Marsinio primes but somebody beat him to it like he was okay with it like he he really thought that the guy that did it was like a very smart and everything like, like what you say uh him killing people no like he wasn't wired like that like, he, he he wouldn't do this in a million years so Marsinio primes i'm taking that you're also a math student like i dabble in math but like like Michael was like a math geek, you know. Yeah, he was like so into math; it was almost embarrassing. Like, yeah, like he was like always talking about numbers and such. Like, it, sometimes it didn't make hats or tails. Like these Marsinio primes or marsupial primes, whatever. They're like uh, long numbers, like very long numbers. So he's. He was part of his social group, but not to do with the math lab or anything. No, man, I'm in economics. No, no. That's where the real money is made. Yeah, true, 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 true. So, uh, would he have anyone that's in a different kind of circle of friends that is not part of your circle of friends to do with the maths? Like, did he ever hang around with anyone else? Except for you two? Nah, like, he was just, uh... 
basically what he did was like get to the lab work on his program get back to his dorm sleep maybe sometimes we watch lord of the rings or anything or like uh star wars like he was a real star wars kid like we all are yeah i really like star trek like no babe star wars like oh yeah star wars so uh no nah, like he he didn't really have any like he was our little project as um <laughs> as my girlfriend says uh, i thought it was fine but like she opened my eyes and he like winks at you <laughs> truth be told he was fine as is like he was just driven you know i'm gonna flick my notebook still out back a few pages so you mentioned that someone beat him to beating this math proof. Would you happen to know who? Was it someone on campus? Nah, it was like some lab in like Ecuador or something. Like a really weird place. Like they... And then he went like tried to find like a book where some weird belgian dutch guy uh, he said something about him i don't remember his name but like he said like this guy has the answers sorry was it a, uh, a book by a guy named uh, faustus faustius clouden yeah man how did you mention it, it was like like Far fuck clock, fa yeah, something like that, man. Like it, it was a really weird name. Foreigners, eh? <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <And> fuck him. <laughs> 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 no, man. We need everybody. Like, yeah, babe. We need everybody. Sure. And uh, the other students that that beat him to to his maths thing. Is it possible that they were uh, from the Philippines instead of Ecuador? Yeah, it was like one of them, like a weird places, like Ching Chong places, but not really Ching Chong, you know? Like, babe, that's so offensive. <laughs> I know, babe, but like, that's what they, like, that's the way these guys talk, right? Excuse you, I voted Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, go, or, or are we being detained? We're just having a chat. <laughs> like, we have class or something. Like, like something that makes us not want to be here at this moment. So please leave. Are you asking the FBI to leave? <laughs> yeah, we have stuff to do, you know? Can I do a persuade check to keep us there? <laughs> Depends on what you're saying. It's in your best interest if we just get to the bottom of this matter. As I say, Michael is in a was in very deep trouble. And we need to get to the bottom of why he would even do this. And if anyone else, if he had any accomplices with him. He could be putting you at danger, Molly. 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 Well, you were going great until you said accomplices. So you have a 20% um, uh, not bonus, but penalty on your persuade at this moment. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Boom. 81. That ain't going to work. <laughs> uh, like, <yeah>. Please <laughs> leave because we have stuff to do. Like, really stuff to do. As you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. Matthew, Matthew, Molly, Molly. Don't leave town. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't leave town. <laughs> uh, but still, can we? Is there any way we can contact this tier before we leave? We need to really get in contact with them. Like they were gonna meet after her work at the vegan delicatessen at, I guess, around one thirty Fifth Street. 
I don't know the exact place, like, he knew. He, uh, I had it written down somewhere, but, like, I gave him my copy of that address, and so I lost it, basically. Um, yeah, you can go there, maybe, probably. Thank you, Molly, Molly, for your cooperation. Look, you're welcome, welcome, but like, it's really weird that you keep telling me I'm Molly Molly when I'm just Molly. <laughs> As I say, it's been one of those days. <laughs> yeah, Edward. days, days. <laughs> <laughs> Edward, do you have anything else to ask him? Uh, not at this moment, Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> I'm going to say that's my next agent name. Agent Bobo here. <laughs> <laughs> agent Bobo, N N Y Y P P E D D. <laughs> I think we should go go. We're going to check out the lab. I'll save you the time. If you want to check out the lab, there's nothing really of interest there. Dun, dun, montage. Check out the lab. Picking up... Um, uh, what's it called? Like the vergrootglassen. Um, like micro... Uh, enhancers. Uh, bottle spinners. Checking all Magnifier. behind... Magnifier. Magnifiers. Electromagnifying glasses. Like There's nothing there. But as you're checking out this laboratory, Raven Judd, what are you doing? Do you really want to go up there? Yeah, I think I do. Well, in that case, I think it's wisest if only one of us goes up there. And then opens the front door. Okay. Do you feel like you want to do this? Or do you want me to do it? No, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll sneak behind and... Well, I'll go behind and get up to the third floor. Um, was it, it was apartment. I wrote it down. Was it on the third floor or something? Fourth, tw fourth, fourth floor. floor. Apartment 20. Yeah. So Judd will follow you up until the alleyway. And he'll say, hold on, Raven. And he, like, looks around. Like, they're in the alleyway, so they're not seen. And he gives her the knife that he got. All right, you do that. He go, and then he goes to the front door to wait. If okay. anything happens here at the front, I will call you, okay? Okay. If anything happens inside, call me, and I'll run up. Okay, will do. Um, so I make my way to the... Well, I slip through the fence. Why can't I get back to Street View? There it is. All right. So you hop the fence. Uh, nobody really is like looking at you. It's Harlem. People don't care. If you want to jump the fence, you jump the fence. More power to you. And. As you jump the fence, you're on the other side. You see a small alleyway. Mm. The building to your left and the building to your right span about 10 meters or 30 feet. And you see that it opens up to a wider range of like grass, unkempt, and a few bushes and trees. Mm. 
Um, if someone's around, my tactic of trying to blend in is that I'm f trying to find my dog. But my dog got through the fence, and I'm trying to find them. Right, so Dog's you're... name is Fido. But as long as there's no one there, then I won't. I won't do that. All right. But nice. I want to make my way to the back of the building and see if I can climb the fire escape that's there. All right. As you're looking at the fire escape, most fire escapes have a ladder that's in a locked position above the street. Roll me a D D one hundred. D one hundred. Is it a luck roll? Mm, it's just a D one hundred roll. I'll tell you if you succeeded. It's a three. The ladder on this fire escape is down. So you could really climb up it if you wanted to. Yeah, I look around to see if there's anyone there. Do Is there anyone looking? I mean, am I in full view? Uh, what's your alertness again? 22. As far as you can tell, there's no one there. Okay. I will climb up to the fourth floor and trying to go as fast past the windows as possible. All right, most of the r windows you pass have their curtains drawn. Uh, some of them are even boarded up or bricked up. Um, and you move up, fourth floor. Second floor, third floor, floor floor. All right, you're at the fourth floor. What do you do? Um, the from what I knew last time, the apartment was the one furthest on the right. I think. Yep. So I go to that window and I don't necessarily look. I want to make sure that there's no one else there. I know that it was mm -hmm. just her name on there, but I want to make sure that there's no one there. So I try and look in without trying to be seen. All right. As far as you can tell, there's nobody inside. Okay. Can I try the window to like lift it? Sure. Give me a D100 roll. 63. you look inside you can tell that on either side of the window there's these little pins that hold the window in place they lock the window essentially what do you do And there's no way that I can use a knife to get those. Well, you can certainly try. To get it and try and push it up. Hey! Um, like these pins? No, but you could try to break the glass with your knife or do something with your knife. Can I just use my shoe to kick in the, the window? Sure. Roll me a D100. Mm. 
46. What's your dexterity score? My dex is 50. Or the score is 10. Alright, 10 times 5 is 50 indeed. Uh, you kick the glass and you break it on the first try. Hell yeah. And seeing as you are kicking glass with your shoe, you take two points of damage. Oh, okay, shit. Uh, hit points? Yep. That's a lot in this game. Well, glass is a fickle mistress. Okay. Wait, where is my... Oh, yeah, that's one six. Okay, um... Am I bleeding? Yeah. Okay, can I... Is there anything in sight that I can wrap around my leg? Sure, there are like uh, towels that you could find if you if you go in. Okay, uh, okay can I do... Uh, I'll take off my shoe. I take off my sock and I wrap my sock around my ankle. All right, roll the first aid. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> 80 over 10. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you <laughs> take off your sock, put your foot back in your shoe. It's a bit sweaty. Mm -hmm. And you Spirit. place your sweaty sock try to bind it around your bleeding wound it's hardcore. it's a parkour hardcore type uh first aid mm -hmm. um just for shits and giggles roll a con check Over, under? Under, under 50. All right. You stop your bleeding for now. And as I'm I'll saying, uh, yeah, sure. I'll grab a towel later. You'll grab a towel later. And speaking of later. Oh, no. It's 10 o'clock. Past ten o'clock, and I have to be up at six fifteen tomorrow. Ew. Yes, that's nasty. It's nasty. That's disgustingly disgusting. early. Disgusting. Why? Yeah. Uh, because I get paid to be at work at seven oh, on ew. Wednesdays. That should be illegal. To be it at work should seven. be, it but it isn't. Very much be. So I want to thank you all for a lovely session and can any, everyone do next Tuesday? I can. Tuesday. I can. Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you, God. Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, let me I check. can do Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Don't you have to like make uh the universe or the world or time even like are you free right, well, really what if i missed why are we calling him god like uh, ha have you heard <laughs> his <laughs> reverberation of his voice the whole oh, time yeah, true. it's not as okay. bad as it was the first oh time yeah it just caught us off guard. It's just, hello, it's a fucking hell. <laughs> it was like he was in a full on church talking. Yes, in a church, that's the, yeah. But it, it's like, gotten better. Uh, that's the 19th uh, we're talking about, right? Uh, is it? Is it? Yes. Okay. I've written down. Bonk. <laughs> Do re has his requiem. Bonk. <laughs> Which one is that from? Yet, you will be. Is that Life it's... of Brian? Uh, no. No. Uh, no, it's the other one. Holy Grail. It's Holy Grail. Uh, Holy Grail. It's Holy yep. Grail indeed. That's so funny. With Bring the planks. Out <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Oh, Bring you will be. <laughs> 
help, I'm being oppressed. <laughs> come see the come see the fighters inherit in the system. Come see the fighters inherit in the system. Oh bloody peasant! <laughs> Jay, you hear that? You hear that? Hey. 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 Oh shit! Man. Oh, that was a great session. That was. Ah, that Dear was good. Lord. And it was good. And I wonder what happened to. Uh, I wonder what happened to you uh, or your character, Luke. Because we couldn't hear anything. I was trying to, was trying to read right. lips. What? I'm watching the the Monty Python monk video. Dorum as vis requie. Plop. Dorne as vis requie. Nice little clue to my character then of uh, what's going on, Molly, Molly, Molly. Oh. And the Rooney. All right. Um, see you on next Thanks week. Thanks for the session, Sebas. You're Thank very you so welcome. Uh, <laughs> I wonder where it goes from here. Me too. I tell you mm. one thing I do like is that they're both. Uh, to both sets of teams are trying to talk to Tia, but we're both going to be literally whoever speaks to her first. Like now, if we call up the vegan place and say we're the FBI, they're going to go, and I just spoke to you. <laughs> 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 well, who are you talking to? <laughs> it's almost like it's engineered that way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I want to find the bong outside the room and then go and see Michael again. <laughs> Look, dude, you got the bong and you threw it away. It's like broken, man. Uh, yeah, it's like it totally plastic. broken. It's plastic. You, you're cheap. You didn't buy a metal one. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a metal bong? It gets so dirty. It's like all glass now. <laughs> like, how old are you, man? <laughs> you're such a doopy FBI agent. <laughs> 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 Such a good word for this shit. <laughs> uh, it was fun. Bye. It's a bus. Yes. Bye. -bye. Bye.